All right, we're finally back after missing at least two weeks. I appreciate all the likes, comments, and views I got, and I especially appreciate breaking 100 subs. This video was requested by someone. I'm gonna have their little comment on the screen now, and we're just gonna get straight into it. This is Cunnel, a new Rhode Island rapper, apparently. So we're gonna check him out. Hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh man. Okay. All right. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Cause she be a Benny and Betty. Ten toes, she a ten and a dime. Ten toes, she a ten and a cut. Ten toes, she a ten and my cut. Alright, so I can already assume that he's going to be one of like the hook rappers who can make something that really is repeating over and over in your head, and I really like the beat that he chose for this, because it seems like one of those ones where it's not really meant to be lyrical. We're going to see if he does have anything lyrical in there, but you can't really expect too much. He does have a song, so I'm going to check out a couple of those, but back to this one. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know what I think of that, but I'm really glad that he just decided to throw that ad lib in there. He's having some fun with this shit. Like, whoa, I hit a raw from the bat like, ow. Cause she be a baddie, I'm baddie. Ten toes, she a ten and a dime. Ten toes, she a ten and a clock. Ten toes, she a ten and my cock. If I tell her touch your toes, she finna go touch your toes. I hit a raw from the bat like, whoa, I hit a raw from the bat like, ow. Two, two shots, I drink that. Ooh, we got a flow switch in here. We're gonna see what else he can do then. All right. Two, two shots, I drunk that night and do say with my man. That shit got me thinking about a bitch from OnlyFans. The way she bent her leg like that, my stank is like okay. The way she threw it back like that, my stank is like okay. Yeah, put up fucking Instagram and slid in her DMs. Yeah, said she had a nigga, but I don't give a fucking damn. Yeah. Oh, you got a man? Don't care. Give a fucking damn. Yeah, her nigga tried to text me, but it's too late now. She a fan. Yeah, I'm a MC on yeah, my Instagram where you a man. Cause she be a. All right, so he's just repeating the hook again, so I'm just going to talk over it because we have a few other songs to check out anyway. Um, this is actually high quality. I think he did a good job, especially from Rhode Island. As I said in the other Rhode Island rapper video, we don't get stuff like this, so anytime it sounds even somewhat good, we're amazed. And this actually does sound pretty solid. I'm happy with what he did there. He's pretty good at making a hook that is kind of repetitive, and given the short nature of the song, it's obviously intended to be that way. Uh, we can check out some of his other ones and see what it's like, but I did like the flow switch he just decided to throw in there. And I like the fun that they're having in the video too, that it looks like at least. Surprised I didn't- actually I can't say I'm surprised I don't know any of the people, I don't know anybody. Alright, just to clarify, I did think he was new, but he definitely is not, and you can tell by his music as we just heard. But he has some songs that actually are pretty successful, he is verified on Spotify. And he definitely has some numbers out there and a pretty deep discography going back to, I don't know how long, but it's it's been a little while. So definitely not new to the game and I think his music shows that. So I'm interested in listening to a couple more. I'm going to play his top one, Contemplate, and then his top one on SoundCloud as well. Stardom, yeah. Her, she knew my stardom, I ain't want to meet her. Homie said just do it for the, yeah. Her, she knew my stardom, I ain't wanna meet her Homie said just do it for the poo cause she a eater Alright, this beat definitely sounds promising as well And he's definitely coming in already with something that sounds professional He said just do it for the poo cause she a eater Me and Shady talk, man, I like her whole demeanor I can't put her back cause I know she a keeper Bitches talking down, say Lokuna, you don't need her She was feeling sad, try to hide it, but I could read her I mean, just so far, it definitely has a completely different mood than the first one, so you don't have to worry about him getting too repetitive, assuming that every other song isn't like this or the other one, which obviously I'm imagining it isn't. And I also think I like his, his flow on this one. It seems pretty nice and pretty consistent. I try to hide it, but I could read her. I know she a trophy as lady, she no deceiver. I can't put her back, cause I know she a keeper. Her, she knew my stardom, I ain't wanna meet her. Homie said just do it for the book, cause she a eater. Me and Shuddy talk, man, I like her whole demeanor. I can't put her back, cause I know she a keeper. Bitches talking down, say Lokuna, you don't need her. She was feeling sad, try to hide it, but I could read her. I know she a trophy as lady, she no deceiver. I can't put her back, cause I know she a keeper. Black out all these bitches, you ain't mad. Yo, they just got a problem cause you with me and they sad. Yo, when I'm at a party, they... He definitely kills the hooks. I really like it when he does switch it up. He does it at, like, a good time. And it's... Other people get a little bit clunky sometimes when they try to switch a flow or anything like that. But he definitely makes it seem natural. And it doesn't really stick out that much. Which is almost why it sounds so much better. 
And then also on top of all of that, he's just really, I don't know, he, he does the very catchy hooks and all of that. And he repeated it a few times, but it's not like other people where it feels really forced, like I said. I guess a really good way to describe it would be natural, and it doesn't feel like he's doing something that he shouldn't be doing. Uh, it's, you can tell that, I shouldn't say that you can tell that he is a rapper or whatever, but you can just, he knows what he's doing. Yo, they just got a problem cause you with me and they sad Yo, when I'm at a party, they be flirting with me mad You know I'm that nigga and these women just want me bad But you don't gotta talk, you can fix me like a bag Yo, when a nigga make it, you don't gotta see the tags Yo, I know I be doing stupid shit that make you mad But baby, I'm like Drake, you like the best I ever had Baby, you a go-getter, you a trendsetter She is not no problem, she a keeper Treat her like a queen, you I'm a sweeper Treat her like a puzzle piece, you know I really need her Okay, so he certainly did change it up and added a bit more uh, melodical, like, actual singing. I think it blended in actually pretty well. It didn't sound off at all. So, uh, yet again, he's just showing more versatility in that he is able to work with his voice more than someone you would expect, especially from Rhode Island. I think this just proves that no matter where you're from, you should check out people in your area. And, I mean, I'm surprised. I'm glad whoever suggested this did that, because he certainly is killing it so far. It sounds like he's going to change it yet again, so I'm going to continue playing it. Sleeper, treat her like a puzzle piece, you know I really need her. These niggas pussy trying to lie to I'm a cheater. But then when I say that shit to my face, so they on Twitter. They know I'm that nigga who so they bitch that they won't get back. Baby girl with me and luxury and we just sit back. Her, she knew my stardom, I ain't want to meet her. Homie said just do it for the book cause she a eater. Me and Shady talk, man, I like her whole demeanor. I can't put her back cause I know she a keeper. Bitches talking down, say look cool and you don't need her. She would feel such out of hide it, but I could read her. I know she a trophy ass lady, she no deceiver. I can't put her back cause I know she a keeper. Her, she knew my stardom, I ain't want to meet her. Homie all right, so after doing the minimal or amount of research, he's been rapping for at least two years for sure. That's just when his first song was posted, so probably a bit before that, I'd imagine, considering it sounds so good. Um, he had a lot of views before Corona, and it looks like that really lowered the amount of streams he had, which is extremely disappointing, and I never really thought about the impact that could have on smaller artists. But he definitely has the skill he needs to bounce back from that, and he definitely has some potential with it. I think i'm not sure what exactly you do if you're in that situation where your streams have fallen and it's because of corona i guess you just are expected to wait i don't know i don't know maybe there's another reason behind it i wasn't paying too much attention to him obviously as an artist i've, I've completely found him out of nowhere because that one person who commented i don't know it, it, I, it just doesn't seem like he should be getting as few streams as he is so maybe it's something from um from the marketing department. Maybe he needs to do a little bit better of a job of marketing. I saw his Instagram had a few followers, so he definitely has an audience on there alone. But I don't I just wonder why his songs aren't getting as many plays right now. Layering that track twice sounds really nice. A lot of stuff now, a lot of pain now, a lot of stuff now. Girl, what's your cadence? A lot of stuff now, it's not enough now. I do not say shit. Alright, so this is what I like to hear. You can really tell that he has, um, he didn't have like the greatest studio or whatever when he was doing this because you can hear the static of the background. So when he talks, you hear static and then it goes away. I'm gonna replay that little section so you can hear it. It doesn't ruin the song or anything at all, but I just thought it was pretty funny that you could hear that. Now, a lot of stuff now. Girl, what's your cadence? A lot of stuff now. It's not enough now. I do not say shit. She said the same shit. Why did I change for you if niggas just knew you won't change for me? Oh, he worked real well with that beat drop, bringing some Godwin energy. I love that. I think it's so, that's like one of the most important things if you're a rapper, really. If you can't do that, you're just putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. Yo, if niggas just knew he won't change for me. Did many things for you, I really just thought you'd do the same for me. Why did I change all for your view? I should have knew you went to one, this shit was strange. All full of pain. My niggas told me that you was like change. Why did I change for you, if niggas just knew he won't change for me? Did many things for you, I really just thought you'd do the same. 
All right, I like how he switched up the flow there. You did a lot, had a really nice part. Now you're hearing the guitar come back into it. Great job by the producer, and we'll see what's next. Same for me. Did many things for you. I really just thought you do same for me. Why did I change all for your view? I should have knew you went to one day. She was strange, all for the pain. My niggas told me that you was like change. Money come, money fall, money go. I feel so lonely. Jumping up with my girl to the mall. She was my trophy. She seen a nigga named Tony. She actually don't know me. I felt the vibe like she was not right. I walked to that nigga like, hold it right there. I know he was rhyming lonely with Tony and that he just, you know, put the name in there because it rhymed. But if your girl skated on you for someone named Tony, that's... Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Tony just really brought down the energy with that one. It's not right, I walked to that nigga like, hold it right there. I walked to that nigga like, hold it right there. He told my little girl with this nigga right here. Why it lies, why it lies, why it lies. How she killed this little nigga right here. Push this little nigga, hurt him at the ledge. My baby was crying, I don't want him dead. I look at the crowd, the niggas was scared. And I screamed at that bitch, since you made it unfair. Uh, uh, uh. Don't really like that part right there. It doesn't kill it or anything. It doesn't ruin the song by any means. It's still something. I could see why people listen to this and would listen to it again. I don't mind it at all. I think it sounds pretty good. It's just his natural voice sounds way better. I, I Maybe it will transition into something else. And in that case, I'm wrong. But usually when you don't like to mix up auto-tune and natural on the same song too much, his voice might be affected a little bit. I don't know. But the point is, this is a very drastic change. Okay, yeah, he carried it on for a bit too much and he didn't switch to anything else, so I think he definitely should have kept it natural. But as I said, not a huge deal, it's it's fine. So ungrateful. Why did I change for you if niggas just knew you won't change for me? Did many things for you, I really just thought you'd do the same for me. Why did I change all for your view? I should have knew you. He definitely is pretty good with the hooks. I mean, it's already stuck in your head a little bit. You definitely can memorize it if you listen to the song fully through, so great job there. Why did I change all for your view? I should have knew you went to one day. She was strange, all full of pain. My niggas told me that you was like change. A lot of stuff now, a lot of pain now, a lot of stuff now. Girl, what's your cadence? A lot of stuff now, it's not enough now. I do not say shit, she said the same shit. Why did I change for you if niggas just knew you won't change for me? Did many things for you, I really just thought you'd do the same for me. Why did I change all for your view? I should have knew you went to one day. She was strange, all full of pain. My niggas told me that you was like change. All right, so, I mean, with him and Boy Two Times combined, I definitely realized that there's more talent in Rhode Island than I thought. If you know any other um, rapper from Rhode Island or maybe even Alaska or some small state like that, I know that one kid's popping in Alaska, but other than that, I don't really know of many. Just send them my way. I like listening to all your guys' music. So if you know someone else, if one of your friends is doing something, if another guy from Rhode Island is watching this and sees this, you can send me your music. If I don't like it, I'm not really going to do much about it. I mean, what do you have to lose, really? I won't make a video on it and roast you for sure, right? That's something I wouldn't do. But this guy, he's he's phenomenal. I'm pretty happy with what he's doing. Um, I'm going to have to listen to some of his newer stuff, get a better opinion on that. I don't know if I'm going to make a video on that because... These videos don't generally do that many numbers, although my last Rhode Island rapper one, I do believe, did break 100. But, uh, usually it's a bit more of a grind for those videos. I don't necessarily care about views. I mean, it's not something I'm guaranteed to get. But, I, I just like making videos on, on what I'm interested in. And he's definitely a rapper who's worth listening to. He's worth trying to get some more attention on. And, I don't know, it's just the quality for his recent streams is absurd i mean i'm gonna have to listen to his recent stuff and see if there is an actual drop in quality but based off the songs i've heard there's absolutely nothing wrong and the other one was four weeks ago and i ain't seen many songs on his soundcloud recently that had thousands of views or anything so don't know what's missing there hopefully you can get him on the errands uh radar or something like that and he can pop off a bit interesting that there was all this talent around that i didn't know about um i'm definitely sure there's more where that came from as i said send me if you if you know it send it in the comments or you can follow my instagram at the underscore matt miranda same thing with twitter except i don't use that i don't really use my instagram either but yeah and if you want to see another video of mine i'm gonna have it set to probably best for viewer 
So whatever you see, the video that pops up as the recommended video, it is the best video you could possibly watch. Remember that. See you guys and have a good one.